Hey everybody, Calvin Nation here with another video for you. In today's video, we're going to be talking about this awesome little relic that I found outdoors. Me and Shy Guys here, we're, we're out for a walk way out back, uh, probably a kilometer and a half, I'd say, um, south of my house into this cool little forest. And we found this guy sticking about that far out of the ground, just the, uh, the end here sticking out of the ground. And um, yeah. It was a really cool find just out in the forest. And now I found this with a little metal detector that I got for Christmas. And that's something I've always wanted. It's not something super amazing. It's not the best metal detector out there. But uh, it does its job. It searches for metal. And it found this guy. And uh, it was super cool. Now, at first I thought it was just probably an axe just somewhere in the 1900s, uh, mid to late 1900s maybe. But then I looked a little bit further online and found that uh, it was probably a little bit later than that. You can see here uh, a picture of it, fur trade relic number one there it says. And uh, you can see uh, they're very similar and it doesn't look in too bad shape beside this this crazy rusting and, and everything. I couldn't find any maker's marks on it or anything but uh, I'll read the little uh, article and so you can get a little better idea of what uh, it actually is. But they say... Hudson's Bay Trade Axe. Uh, trade axes are the most essential for a trade relic, and that's because of the axe is such a versatile, versatile tool. Native Americans used the artifact every day for a manner of chopping tasks, and they had ceremonial applications and could also be used as weapons in the 1600s to 1750s. Um, so I guess it could be from anywhere between then, uh, the 1600s and 1750s, I guess. These iron axes were imported from England and France by the boatload for trade in the colonies. Later, cruder versions were forged inside the primitive, or sorry, inside the blacksmith shops uh, associated with colonial forts and armories. These relics are more primitive because they were hand forged, and they often made from a single piece of iron heated and folded over a mandrel to make opening uh, to make an opening for the handle, then forge welded together. This closure was sometimes referred to as a lap weld. Um, so yeah, I thought that was really cool that I just found that in the back forest. I'm assuming it's, um, it was made at least 200 to 300 years ago, but you know what, who knows really. Um, it's not something that I'm super impressed with, but, uh, it's a sick find nonetheless. So, they say, how much is a genuine 1700s trade axe worth these days? Uh, they say, well, let's investigate that. The very best way to track an authentic trade axe value would be to find a genuine 1700s trace axe on eBay, which I did check out. Uh, I didn't find ex um, any of them that were exactly like this, but I think they went for 100 to 200 bucks, which really is nothing, and it's not worth me selling this. I just thought it was a really, really unique find for uh, one of my first little trips out with my metal detector. And I just thought I'd share it with you guys. Um, so yeah, there it is. A uh, cool thing about that too is it was snowing, um, well partially rainy and snowy and I didn't want to get my detector all soaked just in case it might break. You know, I don't know um, how water resistant it is, but uh, I walked out about a kilometer and a half again, like I said, and only really metal detect for uh, five minutes or so because I didn't detect for anything on the way there. I just walked right out to the forest and started. And I found this in the first five minutes, it just started to pour, so I headed back. So I was only searching for five minutes, found this, and then I headed back. So who knows, there may be some more um, of these out there, uh, some other cool relics as well. So I'm going to have to go back there. If I find anything, I'll keep you updated. Um, but this is probably not something I'll do super regularly um, with metal detector finds. But, you know, I'll keep you updated if I find anything cool for sure. So... Thanks for watching, and I will see you for the next video. Take care.